we receive swabs, viral swabs, that is for collection of the samples that for, from the patients. We also get the extraction kits that are used to, for PCR testing. This is the viral transport medium. This is the sample collection that we use to collect the sample from the patient. It brings two, two swabs and the viral transport medium. The spine one is used for the nostrils. The next one is used for the throat. This is just the sample collection kit, in other words. We have the extraction kit that we receive. This is used to extract the, the, the virus, the DNA, RNA of the virus. This is just the initial stage of the testing for PCR. We cannot ever say we have too much, especially in these times uh, when it comes to the viral swabs. We know uh, worldwide they were kind of running out of these. Uh, this brings increases our capacity by what, um, 16,000? About 16,000 uh, swabs that we have. That means we can swab 16,000 persons uh, more than what we currently have, bringing us to over 20,000 total. Um, that's a rough figure, and at least 20,000. When it comes to tests, uh, this increases our capacity by 26,000 samples more. So uh, we are very well equipped uh, at the moment. This is part of um, a regional initiative um, which is being implemented by the Central American Bank for Economic Integration, CABE, and it's for the SICA country members of CABE, which, is, which are basically the Central American countries and, and Belize. Um, they have given, CABE has already contributed in terms of assistance for COVID-19. They have already contributed approximately a million US dollars um, in other types of equipment to do with COVID-19. So it's regional and um, we are very appreciative. It's all grant, it's all grant funding.